yeah, I was planning on doing this all day, but I got busy. <laughs> I had to cut my hair. Uh, I sent a, uh, like a little clip thing. Oh, hamster, are you old? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like a little, you know, thing on the phone to my daughter and my grandson. And it's like, hey, look. Hamster cut his hair. <gasps> Isn't that nice? <laughs> I had to. It was getting, uh, well, I was getting, I've got hair all over the place, all on the ground here. I, I did it out actually out on the porch, which works okay because then, you know, it's not in the house or the apartment. And, uh, well, hey, how's it going? Mm. <coughs> God. I suppose we better check and see if we're there, shall we? Yes, feminism on trial, you see on the screen. Let me launch another one here, though. One that you can't see. <laughs> well, maybe you'll see. Who the fuck knows anymore with this stuff? SEE, good morning. Hello. Yes, the haircut stream. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the thing here, and uh, we might do some uh, fighter jets and shit, and you know, A-10s shooting. Brr, brr. But uh, we'll get started out. I, and, oh God, I don't know. Trying to move, you know the story, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, the yes. haircut stream. <laughs> the haircut stream. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. In, in a weird, stupid way. I, I like it. Okay. So let's let uh, Feminism on Trial talk for a bit here. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome back to Feminism on Trial. Coming to you again from my car. Cause this mm. <laughs> what kind of car is that? God, I hope it's not a minivan. This is a safe place. Well, where no. no feminists can hear me. Except when they watch the video. And then that's fine. Because I'm still safe. Yeah, I hope it's, uh, I just, Streamlabs, right? A couple weeks ago, the buffer and shit wasn't set up right, so I set it up and it's like, okay, uh, we're going to do, like, fighter jets and stuff. And I went there tonight, and now Streamlabs undid my audio. I, uh, not only that, kids, not only that. It installed a freaking virus in my... Oh, God. I know. I know. Color me triggered. Hello from Australia. Down under. You know, we're having a, uh, a solar eclipse this coming week. Color me triggered. You can't see it. You're in Australia. Too many kangaroos and drop airs in the way. Fabian Farina. Hello. SCE, just another drunken haircut. <laughs> I was, no, 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 no. This was like uh, eight hours ago. I was like, okay, I've had enough of this. Zip, 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 zip. Actually, let me mention this. This video is sponsored by, <laughs> don't I wish people were giving me money. Wouldn't that be great? Hell yes, it would. But I came across these clippers on Amazon they're called Surker. S U R K E R. Now, look, <laughs> I can't show you the picture because I'm not on, you know, the camera and everything. 1.45 in the morning. Hello, Fabian. It is, uh, I guess, what the hell time is it? 11.40. So we're two hours apart. So good, good to see you. For $40, $43, something like that, you get two. Freaking clippers. You get one for your face or a smaller clipper. You get a bigger clipper for the head. You get the charger. You get a bunch of combs and shit, whatever, to do your hair for 40 bucks. Now, this is made in China. And they really did a great job. I mean, these are heavyweight freaking units. Now, this is not a joke. It's not some crappy thing you buy you know it's uh, well you clip your hair for 5.99 it's gonna cost you a little money but i'm telling you this is uh 
a serious clipper. I think I may have told you a few months ago, I got sick of it. And it's like, okay, I got to get something. So I ordered this and my Shure SM7, SM7B, I think, microphone from Amazon. 40 bucks. These two clippers. The cost of two haircuts down at Floyd's 19, which is a barbershop. Well, it's not really a barbershop. It's supposed to be a barbershop, but it's not. It's a bunch of chicks. Nothing wrong with women cutting hair. It's There's a different feel when you go into a, a like a man's barbershop with, with men. You the, the smell that, the, like the cologne, and there's that. Yeah, it's different. Of course, <laughs> Uncle Joe Biden's going to, well, he's going to help those African-American men who he believes are not smart enough to go get a shot. <laughs> uh, we're going to come to the hood, bro. I mean, you believe this shit. <laughs> I just unbelievable. That's the way these Democrats feel about you. Black gentlemen. Black women. Oh, these poor little black people. They don't know anything, so I'm going to have to do it all for them. <laughs> Vote for me. Oh, my Jesus Christ. It's disgusting. Who else is here? Richard Zavala. Zavala. Semi-revolver is home. Ah. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> now you're talking, bro. Otto von Bismarck, my flabs hurt. Yeah, me too. Every time I move, my gut just kind of jiggles. and it's. You know, I mean, it's exercise, right? You're, you're working your abs there because you got all this flabby fat shit hanging all over the place. <gasps> Sorry. Color me triggered. With all the drop bears jumping. No, us, we cannot see the sun. Well, that's true. You know. Just got to accept your position. Color me. Which do I prefer? A semi-auto or revolver? Let's listen to Feminism on Trial while I go get another brewski, bro. Let's see here. Random hamster. Okay, that, yeah, this will work. Okay. Uh, this is just a short one, and I was thinking about this the other day. I'm not the only one to think about this. I'm not the only one to bring it up, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. I'm just going to add another voice. Why, if it's all about equality, why isn't it called equalism or egalitarianism if that's what women truly wanted when they were um advocating for feminism etc etc why did they call it feminism and feminism is attributed to charles fourier i'm not sure how to say his name he's french so i'm gonna botch it and say fourier in 1832 hmm. Muy interessante. Um, 1832. That was a while ago. This plan has been in motion for a while. So it broke down the word. Um, feminism actually, do you know what? Actually, it used to mean being feminine. Whoa, we've come a long way. Because <laughs> it sure as hell doesn't mean that anymore. Most feminists you see, you don't go, Oh, that's a pretty dress. Oh, look at her long hair. She's so feminine. Usually, that's not what you see, especially when you see, like, one of them in their march, in their marches with their hats. Ew. Oh. So it gained the meaning. Use that word because that was the word in my research. God, Get these women just go on and on and on. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm giving her a hard time. <laughs> Oh, God. Color me triggered from Australia. How's the sis? How's uh, Godbother? You know, those were the days, weren't they? Not that long ago. We used to just kind of get on, do a live stream, and talk shit. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, we should do that again. SCE. Clippers are probably pretty good, but what does that have to do with... F-O-T-O. Oh, feminism. She seems like another Camille. I don't know. 
We're going to get to some PUA stuff shortly. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. You guys, you don't even know how bad it is. I've been watching a lot of this, like, PUA sort of uh, infield game crap and whatever the hell they say. It's just, oh. <sighs> some of these women, I mean, I'm surprised they don't pull out a freaking uh, nine mick mick and just... <laughs> Or some pepper spray. I mean, these guys are freaking evil. Evil, I say. All right. What was the uh, question? Oh, revolver or semi-auto? Good question, Richard. Um, here's the thing. If you have a revolver, it's always pretty much guaranteed to go bang. That's all I need to say. Color me triggered. Lotus Wolf has a bad back. Oh, God. Yeah, she's a nice chick, though. I mean, she's, uh, she's fun. <laughs> Her and God Bother should have gotten together and, and got married or something, because it, it seems like it would work. I don't know. Gained the meaning. I wouldn't say it gained anything. Um, with the advocacy for women's rights in the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. Cancer. Let me spell it for you. F-E-M-I-N-I-S-M. From the old French, feminine, <laughs> feminin, probably. Uh, by the way, yeah, it is Fourier, by the way. Dear. Coming from Latin word, the other, The other Fourier did some really interesting shit with uh, respect to, well, engineering stuff. Yeah, very useful. This, this other fuck. <laughs> uh, not so much. Mina, meaning woman. All right, so we're breaking down the word. Yeah. Good. Ism is a Latin suffix that makes a noun into a practice. Did you say Latin? <gasps> oh my God, where's the Italian guys? Well, it's close enough. Or a system. No, no, no. Or doctrine. So you break down the word color triggered says she's lazy to move where he is oh well, he's on the coast isn't he i don't know where exactly uh the guy is but uh, i thought he was like on the beach somewhere yeah I, shit i'd go <laughs> except for all those sharks that come out of the water and eat you for lunch <gasps> well you know it's australia eh? australia down on da okay Let's see. Is that a five o'clock shadow I spy? Uh, not on me. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. SCE says, Richard, I would love to show you the flow chart, but both sides are... Pri uh, d d d d d uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I thought we were talking guns. Massive guns. No, not... Oh, wait. ASMR. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Makes me feel brand new. Or something. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Richard, I, I think that was your question. I mean, if you get a Glock or something like that, or Smith & Wesson or, you know, some, you know, brand name unit. I mean, Ruger puts out a nice little uh, carry pistol or <clears throat> carry uh, semi-auto. I mean, they're all going to work. It's just a matter of, you know, are you trained in how to use it? How do you know if some guy's breaking in to your place or whatever? You're, eh. you know, that's that's kind of a mystery. You know, it's like I don't want to, I don't want to hurt anybody. But I mean, if the dude's coming in, eh. Richard Smith and Wesson three fifty seven. Uh, you know what, Richard? I'd put both. <laughs> I've got a uh, uh, 45, 1911 45 laying on my bed. Just saying. Good morning, Mohanad. How are you? Over in Egypt, where we all kind of started, civilization began. 
Riggs, I lost all my boot. <laughs> Terrible boating. Yeah, I had one of those too. It's it's horrible. It is. History always repeats. G'day, sir. Yeah, get a Subaru and get some shrimps on the Bobby. Just talk to Color Me Trigger. <laughs> Actually, Color Me, your name was uh, prophetic. If you think about it, you were triggered before triggered was being cool or you know, all that stuff. Cosmic Vagrant. There was a volcano blast east of Los Angeles. Really? 18,000 foot high, also a 5.9 quake of the Oregon coast in the last 24 hours. Volcanoes in California. Oh. Okay. Uh, didn't, didn't, uh, didn't hear that one. We'll have to look it up. All right. Go on, feminism. And you have woman doctrine. Like female doctrine, woman system. Oh, yes. That doesn't sound like equalism to me. Well, it's not. <laughs> Anybody who believes that feminism is about equality, you, uh, I don't even know what to tell you at this point. You're out of your mind. You're living in a fantasy world. <laughs> not you, feminism, but the, the other crazy people. So when you ask, why isn't it called equalism? Because it was never about that. And a no, lot of stuff that not, these no. evil people do who are pushing this evil agenda. Cosmic Vagrant down in the Mojave. Oh, okay, I'm not... We might have to look that up. We like Volcano Prawn on this channel. <gasps> Richard Zavala. I have no... Tra you don't need training with a 45. It was designed to be used by everyone. Like, the, uh, 1911 came out in anyone yes 1911 <laughs> it went with our troops into world war one world war two vietnam korea and even up until the gulf wars in the middle east you you just it's john i think it's john browning designed it you just can't go wrong you really can't go <clears throat> excuse me riggs is here with his herpes <gasps> oh God, can you feel your lips getting weird because of the herps? It's right there in plain sight. Yeah, rigs, volcano, and airplane prawn. Yeah, well, my, we might do a, a mock, uh, mock loop again. I don't know. I'm running out of beer. So. And they're doing it right in front of your face. It's almost one of those things that's so close to you, you can't see it. Huh. It's so obvious. I mean, didn't Hitler, not that I'm a fan of Hitler. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, we brought up the H word. Please, God, don't start calling me a Nazi. But I think one of the things he said was, make the lie so big that people have, I mean, people will not believe a lie that's so big because they go, that's so huge. No one would make that up. Uh-huh. Edward... Bernays and Sigmund Freud. Look it up. Mohammed said Sidney Watson. Oh, the GD Bacon. <laughs> I was going to go live. Uh, well, go ahead. I, I, oh, I won't be here too long. Good. I'll come over. We'll see what happens. All right. Sidney, who is it? Sidney Migdow? Oh, Sidney Watson. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's good. Yeah, I like her stuff. Backwards. But she's got this weird accent. It, it's color me triggered. It's not really Australian. And it's sort of, I think she lived in Denver for a while. So she sort of picked up an American <gasps> affectation. Oh, God. No. Cosmic Vagrant. That wasn't him. That was your. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's what the, the word. I mean, do you believe that that he got Magda? I mean, she was pretty hot, and he was a, yeah, God. Oof. Feminism means, mm. means woman doctrine. Oh, okay. So any of you who are like, oh, it's all about egalitarianism and equalism. <laughs> Feminism on trial, we all know that. It's bullshit. It's not anything about that. 
Ah, uh, G.D. Bacon. I will after. Okay, well, we'll uh, go ahead and wrap it up then. So you can. I mean, you could do it now. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm effing with you guys. Happy Friday. Awesome. No, it isn't. And Correct. S.C.E. Bernays was the nephew of Sigmund Freud. No, it never was. So I wonder if the apple doesn't fall from the tree. Far from. Far from. <laughs> what? Whatever. Yeah, Stop something. pretending. Stop lying. Uh -huh. Get real. Look at feminism for what it is. It's women. It's cancer. Women. It's female superiority. No, it's, it's bullshit. It's socialism, Marxism. Pick your ism. It's nothing about equality because women have it today and more. What the fembots are bitching about is they want their cake and they want to eat it too. That's where we're at today. At a point in the pre <laughs> somewhat recent past, in the last 50, 60 years, it may have had a point. Not anymore. It's fucking bullshit. Uh, well, I'm sorry, what? Full stop. I'd say have a great day, but on that note, it's kind of hard to. I, but I want to have a nice day, though. <laughs> Can't I? Hit subscribe, hit the bell, yeah, so you yeah, get go. notifications, and share this video far and wide. It's uh, feminism on trial. Go ahead and sub to her. You guys ready for this? Oh, uh, <laughs> oh my God! All right, Sydney Watson, Sydney Watson. All right, what was what was the one? Oh, destruction of childhood. Okay, let's go there. Thanks. I hate it. Hi. She's got that weird accent, though. It's like half American, half Australian, half. Plutonian. I don't. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sydney. Welcome back. Yes, we know, dear. Nice long hair. Uh huh. But she's she's also got this like hundred dollar eye makeup on here. You know, you know what happens. It's uh... go ahead. Back to Mordor. But before we launch in and do back to Mordor, we're coming to get you know. Down in New Zealand, right? The thing, this video is sponsored by Exter. So there can be only one. <gasps> uh, hip, hip, hypnogogic monk. Just watch this one. Yeah, I didn't know about it. Somebody told me, so. Voice of Reason, hello. How are you, buddy? What's up? We're just, uh, well, it's late. Johnny's here. What the heck happened to her eyebrows? I don't know. Why do these women do all this shit? Well, I'm going to put all this magic powder and shit on my eyeballs. Okay. Uh, I think she... Isn't she married? Or probably. I don't know. Hold on. Oh, that reminds me. There was another... There was another one I... Uh, I uh, let's go do this one first. So, we've already talked a lot on this channel about the myriad of ways in which children are being exposed to things that they probably shouldn't be exposed to. And while I know there's only so many times I could be like. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, all, <clears throat> I hesitate. <laughs> Cosmic Vagrant in the land of Mordor, where the shadows lay, up in Scotland, eh? Who else is here? Riggs, the herpes man, voice of reason. What are you, what, what's going on with you? Voice of reason. What's up? Did you... Uh, you were moving somewhere, weren't you? Yeah, I'm moving to Missouri. <laughs> uh, I, I hope your your climbs are better when I... You know, than me. Stop this. I still... Yeah. You know, it was actually SCE. It was Bernays that convinced women to... As part of his advertising. I think it was Bernays. They were torches of freedom... <laughs> oh, oh you, you think women just have, have started falling for this shit in the last few years? Mm -hmm, no. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see here. 
Riggs started on te tequila to kill ya. Yeah, tequila makes her clothes fall off. Remember that song? <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Johnny, with that face, she, she should not block the... V Johnny. Are you being a bad boy? Shame on you. Still believe that it's important that we keep our ear to the ground and finger on the... Puerto Vallarta. 56 days. Congratulations, Voice of Reason. That sounds like a whole lot of fun. Maybe I'll come and visit you after I get settled in St. Louis. A pulse when it comes to this topic. Because every time I turn around, it feels like there's some new weird thing. Every time I look around... Every time, what was that song? It's in my face. Do, 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 do. What was that song? Was that uh, Crocodile Dundee? For every time I look around. Uh, oh, that was. Um, do, 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 do. Who the hell was that? Every time I look around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you know that song, please put it in the comments. Thing that kids have to I can't think of the damn name of the song. Oh, my God. See or be told about or look at. And if these things make oh, yeah, me yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the New Zealand. That was a New Zealand band. That was, uh, it's in my face. Do it and do it and do it and do it do Yeah, that was, yeah, the poor, the, the, the guy, uh, Actually, I think passed away, if I'm not mistaken. But it was him and a, and a girl and another guy. Every time I look around. Shit. <laughs> what was the name of that song? Okay, uh, go ahead. Adult human being. And then for tiny humans, I'm guessing that the stage is being set for future unhealthy coping mechanisms. Ain't gonna lie. Mm. Yes, thank you. Oh, oh, it was it OMC? Uh, so bizarre. Yes, thank you. <laughs> How bizarre. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're not going to turn this into a, a brutal singing session. I'd like for this to stop. In the last little while, we've talked about radical gender theory. I agree, Richard. That was a good song. Yeah. And sister whatever. Eh, you know. Oh, yeah, there was that blonde chick in there that looked like uh, bitch face. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we should go. Children being presented uh, the opportunity to put fake knitted penises into their underwear, which somehow feels weirder saying it a second time. But in my recent travels of the internet, I have found uh -huh. things that don't make me feel any better about the state of the world. But before... Nothing makes me feel better about the state of the world, Sydney. <laughs> Nothing. Before we continue and dig up any more orcs. I mean, you, you young people are, are, you're gonna have to get this shit together. It's not gonna get better by itself, you know? Men and women gotta work together to right the ship or we're all fucked. <laughs> Crabs in a pot, chaos for you, hello, good morning. Interject that shit, bro. Thank you, Voice of Reason. I will. Although, yeah. Well, know. you know, I mean, <laughs> I'm not known for actually talking and shit. I know why we would or be... Or something. You know, I, I never say my own opinion. Oh, G.D. Bacon. What are what are you saying, sir? What, uh, what are you getting at here? <laughs> Degenerate soup. Oh, I like that. Yeah, uh, I'm here with my band. Our name is like... Degenerate soap. Digging up the orcs because that's I a feel good, like that's a good band name. I like that. That's really good. The dude is here. Me neither. If I compare this to the nineties, it's like a nightmare. It's a nightmare you can't fucking wake up from. <laughs> uh, by the way, Trump was right. Shh. If anything, they would be they would be on Mm hmm. Oh, you've heard it, haven't you? Well, that evil son of a bitch, he's a, he's a Russian spy. He got a couple things right along the way, and now, uh, reluctantly, people are admitting it. Just, on the other side? just saying it. Because they kind of look like feminists. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. Uh huh. And again, 
Nothing against Sydney. I mean, I think she's great and everything. She she is not demanding that the divorce laws change or the child custody arrangements. This is all fluff and bullshit. Well, I'm not a fembot, but I'm not going to stand up for what we think is a fair deal. No, no, no. Yes. I, I've got to go get another beer, so listen to Sydney. For I don't know. I'm trying to make the Mordor reference make sense. Let um, what is Mordor? Oh, isn't that Led Zeppelin? <laughs> or Mordor is uh, Lord of the Rings? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Riggs. Why are you so bad? <gasps> I should give you a wrench. Let's hear from our sponsor, Exter. Exter designs what they call oh. smart wallets. They're uh -huh. probably smarter than the old Joe boy at this stage. Yeah, Yuri Bezmanov. You know, we should probably just watch Yuri. Wouldn't that be more fun? It would be, yeah. Yuri Bezmanov. That's, uh, nothing against Sydney. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but she's a chick. Yeah. She could say good things, but we all know, really, it's a lot of bullshit. Don't we? Yes. You're not fighting for men's rights. You talk a good game, but you're doing nothing about it. Middle Earth, yes, yeah. I read the Lord of the Rings, whatever, the, the Hobbit and all that shit. So I thought it was more Mordor. And I think Led Zeppelin referred to that in one of their songs. We're going to Mordor and we're going to have a party. We're going to take some... Ecstasy and snort some blow. Product or the, the voice of reason. Yeah, mm hmm. Exactly my point. All right, let's put on Yuri here. Ideological subversion. Well, you spoke several times before about ideological subversion. That is a phrase. That now, listen carefully. If you've not heard this guy before, now this could be a, uh, a mind fuck. This, this guy could have been a plant from Russia to come over here and say, well, this is really what we're doing, but they're doing something else. I, I, um, I don't know. I think maybe he was the real deal. Maybe. Listen. But, uh, I'm afraid some Americans don't fully understand when uh, the Soviets use the phrase ideological subversion, what do they mean by it? Ideological subversion is... is Voice of reason. Savage mood. <gasps> Six beers? Oh my God, what? <laughs> you, I have that for breakfast. What? I, I didn't really say that. The process, which is legitimate, overt, and open, you, you can see it with your own eyes. All, all you have to do, all American mass media has to do is to unplug their bananas from their ears, open up their eyes, and they can see it. There is no mystery. There is nothing to do with espionage. I know that espionage intelligence gathering looks more romantic. It sells more deodorants through the advertising, probably. That's why your Hollywood producers are so crazy about James Bond type of, of, of thrillers. But in reality, the main emphasis of the KGB is not in the area of it intelligence at all. According to my uh, opinion and opinion of many defectors of my caliber, only about 15% of time, money, and manpower is spent on espionage as such. The other 85% is a slow process which we call either ideological subversion or active, active measures, measures. Active measures. Yes. in the language of, of the KGB. Active <laughs> Where is my vodka, Boris? Or psychological warfare. Yeah. What it basically means is to change the perception of reality of every American to such an extent that despite of the abundance of information, yep. no one is able to come to sensible conclusions. Remember, this, this was 1983. <clears throat> Does any of this sound familiar? Just saying. The interests of defending. Actually, Johnny, <laughs> beer. 
The Breakfast of Champions. I have such a good voice. I mean, you know, you'd think chicks would just be throwing themselves at me because, well, you're just, you're the hamster. Themselves, their families. Their but, you know, they're attracted to personality after all. Right? Their community and their country. <laughs> it's a great brainwashing uh, process which goes very slow and it's divided in, in four basic stages. Communism was uh, a cancer, Richard, uh, oh, over a hundred years ago. It's always been a cancer. It's always been about control. I'll give you free goodies and then you can, uh, you know, suck. <laughs> Anthony Bauer, what was that, 1984? 1983, actually. S somewhere in there. Walter Mondale was still running for president. We'll get to that here shortly. Anthony, good to see you. G.D. Bacon. Johnny, I have coffee with <laughs> Irish cream. Then again, my championship days are long behind me. I know. Chaos for you, 728, 1960s. Not, this was actually 1980s when this was done. G.D. <laughs> Bacon. The hamster with the voice dropping panties at a venue near you. Well, back in the day, it uh, used to work. Not today. Uh, the first one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. Why that many years? Because this is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students. Imagine that. He was talking about one generation. How many generations of Fembots have been poisoned with toxic cancer in this world over the last, what, five, six decades? In the country of, of, of your enemy, yeah. exposed to the ideology of the enemy. In other words, Marxism-Leninism ideology is being pumped into the soft heads of, of, of at least three generations of American students. With Any, anything sound familiar here? Without being challenged or counterbalanced by the basic values of Americanism. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, Besmanov is right here. You know, if, if you're going to say, okay, socialism is this, oh, capitalism is this way, this is that way. They don't get that. They just get socialism is the greatest thing since sliced fucking bread. If we just had socialism and communism, everything would be fine. If we could just get uh, get rid of those evil men who are, uh, well, they're lighter, lighter shade of pale. American patriotism. Right. The result, the result you can see. Most of the people who graduate. You know what I read today? President Biden has forbidden a July 4th celebration at Mount Rushmore. What's, what's the fucking purpose of that? Oh, it's the thing. Right. I'm sure. I'm sure that's it. In the 60s, dropouts or half-baked intellectuals <laughs> are now occupying the positions of power in the government, civil service, business, mass media, educational system. You are stuck with them. Yep. You cannot get rid of them. They are contaminated. They are programmed to think and react to certain stimuli in a certain pattern. Yeah, it's Pavlovian shit. Talk to any fembot. Well, uh, you know, the <laughs> wage gap, <laughs> women are oppressed. It's all fucking bullshit. Voice of Reason is on Odyssey. Oh, you have a wrench. Yes, go to the link there. Go ahead and sign up for that. It's in the chat. T. Robert Johnson, good morning. My pronouns are D's nuts. I like E. You cannot change their mind. Even if you, if you expose them to authentic information, even if you prove that white is white and black is, uh, is black, you still cannot change the basic perception and the logic of behavior. Yeah, th th that's the biggest thing. And that's what uh, Yuri was, was saying. Reality doesn't matter. Actuality doesn't matter. It's whatever their perception is in their brains. That's what matters. 
And it's all about taking power. In other words, these people, uh, uh, the process of demoralization is complete and irreversible to get rid of society of these people. Chaos for you, yes, I've read The Naked Communist by Clyde Sozin, I think his name is. I think it was Clive. Clive? Clyde? Yeah, interesting. You, have, you need another 20 or, or, or 15 years to educate a new generation of patriotically minded and, and, and uh, common, common sense people. Who now, when this video was made, I was one year out of high school. And here we are 40 some years later. <laughs> and it's only gotten worse. Who would be acting in favor and in the. The big Minnesota guy. Sexy bitch. Yeah. Interests of, of, the, uh, of the United States society. You don't have to tell me. I'm, I'm just pretty. And yet these people who've been programmed and, as you say, in place and yes. who are favorable to yes. an opening with the Soviet concept. Now, mm -hmm. you know this man, uh, this is G. Griffith, I think. It, it, this guy is still here with us. This was 40-some years ago. Guy's an old bastard, but uh, he was doing this stuff a long time ago. Cleon, yeah. Cleon's, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, Cleon. Skousen, I think it was. These are the very people who would be marked for extermination in this country? Most of them, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, simply because the psychological shock when, when <laughs> they will see in future what the, what the beautiful society of equality and social justice means in practice. Yeah, what the beautiful utopia that'll never happen. Obviously, they will revolt. They, 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 will, uh, they, they will be very unhappy, frustrated people. <laughs> you think? And the uh, Marxist-Leninist range... I mean, really, Yuri, who has passed away, I think, uh, 19, mid-90s. Yeah. Uh, nothing will make them happy. Shock. He does not tolerate these people. Uh, they, obviously, they will join the links of dissenters. Mm -hmm. The big Minnesota. So are we watching two old guys talking about farts? <sighs> well, you know, I, I get those particular uh, diapers down at the CVS because, you know, they work better. Dissidents. What, what are you uh, saying? Unlike what, what, what are you saying? In present United States, there will be no place for dissent in, in future Marxist-Leninist America. Yeah, you see, that's the thing. These, as he says, useful idiots. These AOC types and these freaking radical fembots. <clears throat> I'm not even going to mention. Uh, it's not going to be a good day for them. If this happens. 125 in the morning. Riggs, the herpes master. Yeah, where are you at? Central time zone, I guess. It's uh, twelve twenty-five here in Denver. Uh, here you can you can get uh, popular like uh, Daniel Ellsberg and filthy rich like Jane Fonda for being dissident for criticizing your Pentagon. Mm -hmm. In future, these people will be simply squashed like cockroaches. Nobody. is going to pay them nothing for their beautiful, noble ideas of equality. This they don't understand, and uh, it will be greatest shock for them, of course. The demoralization process in the United States is basically completed already. This was 1984. Uh, for the last 25 years. Actually, it's overfulfilled because uh, demoralization now reaches such areas where previous Chaos for you depends if you're in El Paso, you're in mountain time, baby. What? Oh, voice of reasons out on the uh, Pacific time zone. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you need to move to Mexico. Get the fuck out of there. Honestly, not even Comrade Andropov and, and all his experts would. How's the poon in Denver? <laughs> he wouldn't even know. Um, I'm sure it's fine. I'm, I'm sure for those who would partake. Gotta tell you though, the girls, girls in Colorado are pretty hot. Yeah. The dresses and the hair and they're all yeah. Yeah, I could I could 
imagine that happening? Would even dream of such a tremendous success. Most of it is done by Americans to Americans. Thanks to lack of... T. Robert Johnson, I'm in San Francisco, California. And let me tell you, things are fucked. Oh, you know, such a beautiful, physically beautiful place, you know? California, just wonderful. You know, the people are nice, but then these fucking politicians come in and fuck it all up. <laughs> oh, my God. Big Minnesota. Holy shit, I was born in 1984. Yeah, I know. I was uh, 20, 20 years old. Moral standards, as I mentioned before. What are you saying, Riggs? No, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> That was a gerbil, not a hamster. It was a gerbil. We're different. Uh, exposure. But you people think we're all alike. Oh, look at that. <gasps> True information does not matter anymore. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta go get a drink, so I'll be right back. A person who was demoralized is unable to assess true information. The facts tell nothing to him. Uh, even if I shower him with information, with, with authentic proof, with documents, with pictures, even if I take him by force to the Soviet Union and show him concentration camp, he will re refuse to believe it until he, he is going to receive a kick in, the, in his fat bottom. When a military boot crashes his balls, then he will understand, but not before that. That's the tragic of the situation of demoralization. So basically, America is stuck with, with demoralization. And unless, even if, if you start right now, here, this minute, you start educating new generation of Americans, it will still take you 15 to 20 years to turn the tide of, uh, of ideas ideological perception of reality uh, back to normal. Normalcy and, and uh, patriotism. The next stage is destabilization. This time, subverter does not care about your ideas and the patterns of your consumption, whether you eat junk food and get fat and flabby, it doesn't matter anymore. This time, and it takes Hmm. Did it stop? Uh oh, are we fucked? Page is unre. <laughs> Goody. Uh, <coughs> God. That's what you need if you're having a <coughs> bloody Mary. Oh, are we? I, I've got the fan on. Are we even on the stream, guys? Are, are we still there? Maybe we just got to reload it. I don't know. Oh, something seems really fucked up. Mm -hmm. Oof. Looks like we're all fucked. So let's close that. Yeah. Right. Let's go to the PUA cringe. Why not? If it'll work. <coughs> no, something's wrong here. Are, are we actually on live yet? Probably not. It's probably super fucked at this point. Yeah, looks like it's bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and wait. All right. We'll wrap it up. We'll come back. See you guys later. Bye.
for fuck's sake. Exit. Who gives a shit? Come on. Well, suddenly we just went full fucked, didn't we? Yeah, nothing's working. Okay. Good. Good. Great.